Training in big city life for smaller towns or cities. New data by Redfin shows the top 10 cities people are moving away from. And we're talking about by the thousands. The lists include places like San Francisco, New York, Chicago. In turn, that same data shows people are fleeing to smaller places, places like Myrtle Beach, Sacramento, Sarasota. Joining me now is Daryl Fairweather, Chief Economist for Redfin. Daryl, thank you so much for your time here. So we've been talking about this for a while. Obviously, you were with Redfin. We know housing has been expensive before. Why do you think we're continuing to see this exodus from bigger cities? It really comes down to affordability. Prices are high, mortgage rates are high. So if somebody wants to become a homeowner and they can't afford to do so where they currently live, the next best option is to move somewhere more affordable. Are there enough homes to meet buyer demand outside of larger cities? Because you think smaller place, smaller pool of homes available. It depends. If it is a area where there isn't a lot of room to build, then newcomers can put a lot of strain on existing inventory. But if it's a place where there's ample land and ample new construction, then it doesn't put so much of a strain on the housing market. And the good news is people are generally moving to places where there is more land and it is easier to build. And do you think this trend continues? Yes, this is part of a long-term trend. It's been going on for all the five years I've been at Redfin, and I expect it to continue as long as these expensive places like Los Angeles, San Jose, San Francisco, Seattle uh, aren't getting any more affordable. <laughs> if they make considerable changes, then perhaps it could slow down. You know, and, and Daryl, to be honest, you know, there's a lot of people who just feel like they cannot buy a home, period, whether it's in a big city or otherwise. When do you think things turn around nationwide? If mortgage rates were to fall, then that would create an opportunity of affordability. It would be temporary because people would rush into the market and likely bid up the prices of homes. But with rates so high, there really isn't much wiggle room. If rates came down a bit, that would at least provide a window. All right. Well, we will certainly see what happens. Daryl Fairweather with Redfin. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.